Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. And today, we're diving headfirst into the world of ethical hacking, pitting two titans against each other, Kali Linux and Backbox. These operating systems are legendary in the cybersecurity world, but the question is, in the year 2025, with all the advancements we've seen, which one comes out on top? We're talking about a deep dive into their history, their strengths, their quirks, and everything in between. We're gonna break it all down, no jargon, just straight up facts and real world use cases. So grab your favorite beverage, make sure you're in a comfy spot and buckle up because we're about to explore the exciting world of ethical hacking and see which OS reigns supreme in 2025. Oh, and while you're at it, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get started. First up, let's talk about Kali Linux. This isn't just some operating system, it's an institution. For years, Kali has been the go-to for security researchers, penetration testers, and let's be real, anyone even remotely interested in ethical hacking. But what makes it so special? Well, it all started back in 2006 with the release of Backtrack, Kali's predecessor. Backtrack was raw, powerful, and packed with tools, quickly becoming a favorite in the security community. But the team behind it, Offensive Security, they weren't done. They saw the potential, they listened to the community, and in 2013, Kali Linux was born. And let me tell you, Kali didn't disappoint. It was a complete overhaul, built on Debian Linux, known for its stability and security. They streamlined the interface, making it more user-friendly, but don't let that fool you. Under the hood, Kali is a beast. One of the things that really sets Kali apart is its massive repository of over 600 pre-installed penetration testing tools. We're talking everything from password crackers and network scanners to vulnerability analysis tools and exploit frameworks. It's like having a Swiss army knife of hacking tools, all neatly organized and ready to go. But Kali's dominance isn't just about the tools, it's about the community. Over the years, Kali has fostered a massive and incredibly active community of security professionals and enthusiasts. This means constant updates, new tools, and a wealth of knowledge and support available online. So yeah, Kali Linux has earned its legendary status. It's powerful, versatile, and backed by an incredible community. But the world of cybersecurity is constantly evolving, and new challengers are always emerging. Now, let's talk about the contender, the one looking to shake things up, Backbox Linux. You might be thinking, wait, Backbox? Isn't that like Kali's older brother? And you wouldn't be entirely wrong. Remember Backtrack, the OS that paved the way for Kali? Well, Backbox took a different path, focusing on a more specialized approach to ethical hacking and penetration testing. Backbox emerged as a minimalist yet powerful alternative. It's built on Ubuntu, another rock-solid Linux distribution known for its user-friendliness. But don't let the sleek and simple exterior fool you, Backbox packs a punch when it comes to security assessments. What sets Backbox apart is its laser focus on network security and penetration testing. It comes preloaded with a curated selection of tools specifically designed for network analysis, vulnerability scanning, and exploitation. Think of it as a precision instrument honed for specific tasks. Backbox might not have the sheer volume of tools that Kali boasts, but that's by design. The developers prioritize quality over quantity, ensuring that each tool included is battle-tested, reliable, and regularly updated. This makes Backbox an excellent choice for both seasoned pen testers and those new to the field who might feel overwhelmed by Kali's vast toolkit. Another area where Backbox shines is its lightweight nature. It's designed to run smoothly, even on older hardware, making it a great option if you're working with limited resources. Plus, its clean and intuitive interface makes it easy to navigate and find the tools you need. All right, let's get down to business and compare these two hacking heavyweights head to head. First up, features. As we've already established, Kali is like a giant toolbox overflowing with every hacking tool imaginable. It's got tools for web app testing, wireless cracking, reverse engineering, you name it, Kali's probably got it. 
Backbox, on the other hand, takes a more curated approach. It focuses on network security and penetration testing, so its toolset is leaner, but still incredibly powerful. It's got all the essentials for network mapping, vulnerability scanning, and exploitation. So, which is better? Well, it depends on your needs. If you're a professional pen tester who needs a wide range of tools for different engagements, Kali's vast arsenal is hard to beat. But if you're more focused on network security or prefer a more streamlined toolkit, Backbox might be a better fit. Next up, user friendliness. Both Kali and Backbox are based on Linux, which can be intimidating for newcomers. However, both distributions have made strides in making their interfaces more approachable. Kali's GNOME desktop environment is clean and modern, while Backbox's XFCE environment is known for its speed and simplicity. In terms of performance, both operating systems are pretty lightweight and can run smoothly on even modest hardware. However, Backbox's minimalist approach gives it a slight edge, especially on older machines. Chapter 4. Finding Your Hacking Flow Now, let's talk about workflow. How do these operating systems actually feel to use when you're in the zone, trying to find vulnerabilities and exploit them? This is where personal preference really comes into play. Kali, with its vast array of tools, can feel like a playground for experienced hackers. You've got everything at your fingertips, ready to chain together complex attacks. It's powerful, but it can also be overwhelming for beginners. It's like having a professional chef's kitchen. Sure, you can make a grilled cheese, but you might be better off starting with something simpler. Backbox, on the other hand, guides you towards a more structured workflow. Its curated toolset naturally lends itself to a methodical approach to penetration testing. You start with reconnaissance, move on to vulnerability scanning, and then exploit development. It's like following a recipe. You know the steps, and you have the right tools for the job. So, which workflow is better? Again, it depends. Experienced hackers might appreciate Kali's flexibility and freedom, while beginners might find Backbox's structured approach more approachable. Chapter 5. Choosing Your Hacking Companion So we've looked at the features, the user experience, the workflow. Now, the big question, which one should you choose? If you're still on the fence, here's a simple breakdown. Choose Kali Linux if you need the absolute widest range of hacking tools available, you're comfortable with the Linux command line, you thrive in a less structured, more exploratory environment, and you have access to a machine with at least 4 gigabytes of RAM. Choose Backbox Linux if you're primarily focused on network security and penetration testing, you prefer a curated and streamlined set of tools, you appreciate a clean, minimalist and fast operating system, and you're working with older hardware or limited resources. Ultimately, the best OS for you depends on your individual needs and preferences. Both Kali and Backbox are powerful tools, and the one that fits your workflow will be the most effective. Chapter 6. Hack Responsibly Before we wrap things up, let's talk about something crucial, ethical hacking. Both Kali Linux and Backbox are incredibly powerful tools, and with great power comes great responsibility. It's essential to use these tools ethically and legally. Remember, hacking without permission is illegal and can have serious consequences. Always obtain explicit consent before attempting to access any computer system or network that you do not own. Ethical hacking is about using your skills to make the digital world a safer place. It's about finding vulnerabilities before the bad guys do and helping organizations strengthen their defenses. So whether you choose Kali, Backbox, or any other security tool, always remember to use your powers for good. Outro. Hack responsibly. Stay curious. That's it for our Kali Linux vs. Backbox showdown. Hopefully this video gave you a better understanding of these two powerful operating systems and helped you decide which one is right for your ethical hacking journey. Remember, the best tool is the one that you understand and feel comfortable using. No matter which OS you choose, keep learning, keep practicing, and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible in the world of cybersecurity. And most importantly, always hack responsibly. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more tech deep dives, 
and let me know in the comments down below which OS you prefer, Kali Linux or Backbox. Until next time, stay safe and keep hacking.